Hi guys, this is question one from Nectar Form 2 Math Paper 2020. So we're told for 1A, we're asked to write each of the numbers 18, 24 and 36 as a product of prime factors and hence find the greatest common factor of all these three numbers. So we're after greatest common factor or you can also say highest common factor right so to write them as product of prime factors i like to use prime factor trees and we have to do a tree for each one of these three numbers so let's start with uh, 18 so we have 18 and we're going to write this as a product of its prime factors. So 18 is 2 times 9. Now every time you have a prime number, you need to circle it. So we, 2 is a prime number, we're going to circle it. Now we uh, have 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So there are both prime numbers. That means we're going to circle them. So 18 is going to be equal to 2 times 3 times 3. And we know 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Now let's go for 24. So we have 24. We can say 24 is the same as 2 times 12. Now 2 is a prime number, so we circle it. And then 12 is 3 times 4. 3 is a prime number. 4 is 2 times 2. These are both prime numbers. So that means 24 is going to be equal to 2. How many 2's do we have? 1, 2, 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. Now for the last number then, we have 36. So we're going to write 36. Now we can write that as 3 times 12. 3 is a prime number, so we circle it. And then 12 is 3 times 4, so 3 prime number, we circle it. And then 4 is 2 times 2, so we circle these numbers too. So 36 is going to be equal to how many 2's do we have? 1, 2, so 2 times 2, and then we have 2 3's, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So now we have written them as a product of their prime factors first of all, and then we need to find the greatest common factor. So to do that, we need to find the common numbers between all these three numbers. So we can see there is one common two, so two, two, two. We're going to write that down. So greatest uh, common factor is going to be equal one of the two, and then do we have another common 2? No, because 18 has only got one 2. So the rest we just ignore. And then we look for 3. Well, we have one 3 here, one 3 there, and one 3 there. So that 3 is common amongst all three numbers, so we take it. Now let's look. Do we have another 3 that's common? Well, we have a 3 here. No more 3 here, and no, we have another 3 here, but 24 has only got one 3. So these are the only common numbers, 2 and 3, which are in all 3 numbers. So that means our greatest common factor is going to be equal to 6. And now for 1b then, we are asked to write a number 0 0.009765 correct to three decimal places, which means we need only three numbers after the decimal. 
So what do we have here? I'm just going to write the number again here, 0 0.009765. We are after three decimals. So we come up here, one, two, three. Now that's the number that we need to round. Before you round it, you need to look at that number. Is it five or more? If it is five or more, this one is going to go up. If not, this number will stay the same. But in this case, the next number is seven, which is more than five. The nine becomes 10. So this number correct to three decimal places is going to be equal to 0, 0. Now this will now become 10. So you'll get a one here. So the answer is that one there. Of course, you can write 0 0.010 but the last zero will not make any sense. Now we need to write correct to three significant figures. So what does that mean? We want only three numbers that are non-zero. Now it's a little bit tricky with this one because we can see we have zeros. So let me write the number again, 0 0.09765. When you have a decimal number and your number start with zeros, you do not count the numbers uh, until you come, you come across a number that is not a zero. What does this mean? We're going to see zero, I just ignore that number. Zero, I will ignore. Zero, I will ignore. Oh, the next number is not zero. That's my first significant number so first second third significant number fourth significant number so my three significant uh digit third is this one here that's the one i want to round so put a line there and then see is this nine number five or more it is so the six become a seven so the answer to this one is going to be zero 0.00977. So for the last part then we are told to state the place value of 9 in a given number. So I will rewrite the number here again 0 0.09765 and we need to say what is the value of this digit. Now what you need to remember is with decimals, we don't have units. For example, if I had this number here, two, three, four, this will be units, so four units, three tens, that means that number is 30, and this one is, uh, this two is in hundreds, so that number is gonna be 200. Well, this one here, uh, it start after the decimal, it starts as tenth so we don't have units after the decimal tenth so zero tenth zero hundredth and nine thousand so the number nine in this number is going to be nine thousandth so nine thousandth okay that's the value of this number okay so that's question one done guys